Next up to throw is what I call whiskey sippers, but they're kind of espresso cups, shot glasses, anything like that. And they're just little tumblers. You can finish them in a variety of different um, forms and glazes and so on. But they're really fun to throw when the clay is wedged properly and a lot less fun when it isn't because it's quite hard to um, wedge it on the wheel because it's such a small amount of clay. It's around 150 grams and the nice thing when you've got this much clay and it's wedged is you can really just tell it where you want it to go and it doesn't put up any struggle really. But if it's not well wedged, it'll get off centre and you'll never get it back because there's too little clay to, to kind of redistribute and play around with. Basically it. Easy as that. And one of my preferred glazes on these is the Impulse Dots. It's a glaze that has to have a lot of movement in it to get it looking the way that it should. And on the bigger pieces, there's a reasonable chance that means it's going to run off onto your kiln shelves and ruin. The nice thing with these is they're so small that proportionately it means they've kind of got to run twice as far as you want them to before they run off the piece, whereas the bigger ones is just a small fraction of one they've got. So what I would do is I would come back later and apply the slip dots and I haven't done a write-up on that yet, but at some point I'll get around to it. It's really as simple as it sounds. But, um, yeah, so the design I'm talking about is this one, where you can see nice trick starting to form. Whereas if it was on a taller piece and you glazed all the way down to the hair, that extra glaze would mean it would have run off completely. Here you can put it on quite thick, you get the little trails from the dots. And um, the extra movement improves it rather than potentially ruining it.